hi and welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us a simple comparative sales analysis using formulas and power pivots so let's get started looking to our sample data set we've got this transaction data that is officially stored as an excel table and we can verify the name of the table under the table design contextually we'll tab and see the name of the table and of course we have this small table that contains the unique brand and the projected units that we want to sell now our goal is simple we want to use formulas and power pivot to create three columns for brand projected unit and then the actual unit sold and then we can do some little bit of comparison so let's dive in now if you do not have this microsoft power pivot enabled on your ribbon tab you can easily click on file at the bottom here you can choose options now in this list of tabs just click on headings and then at the bottom here you can choose from this drop down come headings and click on the go and then we have microsoft power pivot for excel so click on it and click on ok and ok and then you're gonna see the power pivot on the ribbon here so what i'm gonna do because our data sets are already in an excel table i can just click on the main data set first and click on power pivot under the tables click on add to the data model so we have the f sales in the data model so what i'm going to do is to click on this little excel icon to switch to excel and then click on this small table and do the same thing add to the data model now the two tables are in the data model so what i'm going to do is in the home tab of the power pivot click on diagram view under the views group click on diagram view and then we need to create one to many relationships so i'm going to drag this brand which is the unique one then i connect to the many side on the f sales table and then we can see that this is the unique side and this is the many side so what i'm going to do is very simple from this home tab just click on pivot table and then we can easily create a pivot table now i'm going to put it in the existing worksheet and then choose the cell location let me just drop it let me dump it at the bottom here and click on OK and click on OK and cool so we can easily build our report okay so now I'm going to move my pivot table field up here and then we can see under the all tabs we have the F sales and the projection TBL tables and I can actually move them to active tab by right clicking and choose show in active tab and i do the same thing for this right click and ch choose show in active tab now when i come to active i can see the two tables and then we can easily build our report now from the projection table i can choose this brand and it goes into the rows areas and they want to see the projected units which comes into the values areas and of course the actual units sold okay so we can see that this is the projected unit which is 2800 for BMW but we sold below the projected unit we actually sold 2712 let's take for limousine now the actual is 4445 units but we sold 3000 two three three units now let me just tidy things up before we move to the formula now we have by default the row labels so what i'm going to do is come to the pivot table design tab and under the let me move this one right to the right and then choose under the layout i want to choose report layout i want to show in tabular form and then we can see the name of the particular column we drop in the rows area which is brand and of course i don't like all this sum of projected units some of this so i'm going to just double click on this and then i can delete this sum off and click ok and do the same thing for this double click and delete the sum and click enter on the keyboard and then we can even tidy things up by you know applying number formatting so right click i want to choose number format now we do not need currency we only need number formatting so i choose this number formatting now i only need 1000 separator i don't need decimal so i clear down off I click ok and i do the same thing right click i want to choose number format and i want to choose number 1000 separator no decimals and click ok now we can see that for 
the grand total we have 16,750 units but the total for the unit sold the actual unit sold is 15,487 now I want to deal with the formula based solution so I'm going to just copy this unit sold and I can paste here now let's use our sum ifs function so equal sign sum ifs now for the sum range I'm going to choose this units sold comma for the criteria range one I want to choose the many size for brand comma and for the criteria one I want to choose this value in cell G2 close the sum effects formula control enter and that spilled to the neighboring rows at the bottom so we can see that we have almost the same we have the same result anyway so let's just you know apply um our commas and delete the decimals and then we can even do grand total i click on in the styles group cell styles i want to choose under the titles and headings i want to choose title and then we can type in um, and then we can easily let me delete this and then we can easily apply alt equal sign and then let me just ignore this error for a moment all right so we have the same results you can see the projected unit is 16,750 which is exactly what we achieve using the pivot table in power pivot the unit sold and we have the same unit sold so this is basically how we can use formulas and power pivots to create a simple comparative sales analysis i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like share this with your friends comment and consider subscribing to the channel thank you and bye for now cheers